Yes, Commissioner. Mrs. Davidson is with me right now. Thank you. All right, did you get the uh, blueprints that I faxed you? Yeah, I got them right in front of me. All right, you see on the north side of the building, there's an X right there. Okay, I see it. That's where I want you to be. All right, I'll be there. Hey, Christian, now are you sure about this? I can't let Natalie stay with that guy. Well, you know the risks. I don't care. I'm getting her out of there no matter what it takes. Okay, I just want you to remember, tonight, I'm Natalie's uncle. I'm not the commissioner of police. In fact, we're not even having this conversation. Never happened. All right, I'll be in touch. Oh, you brought over some of your things. That's a good sign. Glad to see you're making yourself at home, darling. I'm so sorry if I frightened you earlier, but through fear, we often find wisdom. And in that wisdom, we learn to accept the things we cannot change. Ooh, such lovely things Buchanan money can buy. I wonder what this would fetch on the open market. I don't care. Take it. Sell it. I don't care. Because all you want is my money anyway. Well, it's certainly part of your charm. I do hope you remember to pack your checkbook. <laughs> How much do you want? Mm, a half a million. For now. You want me to write a check for half a million dollars? Mm, for starters. Will half a million dollars buy me out of this marriage? Oh, our marriage is priceless. There's some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's my dear wife's credit card. So why do you need all this money anyway? Oh, insurance. On the off chance that something might go wrong. What could possibly go wrong? You've got exactly what you want. I'm here and I'm not going anywhere. No more running to Uncle Bo? I gave it up, okay. Yeah, only because I caught you before you could tell him anything. You made your point. Yes, and Christian is still alive because of it. I had to tell my mother and Christian that they were wrong about you, and I had to make them believe that I actually want to stay here with you. Yes. And that I love you. It was a brilliant performance. I almost believed it myself. I broke their hearts tonight. And you made me do that. You made me hurt the people that I love more than anything in this world. People you met, what, two minutes ago? You didn't even know Vicky was your mother until last year. Because of you, you took me away from her. Well, technically, it was Allison Perkins who took you from the warm Buchanan bosom. My mother didn't even know she had twins. Mm, speaks well of her maternal instincts, doesn't it? Oh, don't you dare turn this around on her. You manipulated the whole thing. But you know what? It didn't work, because we finally found each other. Only to lose each other again. How tragic. <laughs> you know what, you're right. You can take me away from her again, but you know what? You can never stop how much we love one another. Oh, you think she still does? What? Well, that was quite a slap in the face, choosing me over her. It killed me to do that to her. Well, I should think you'd be used to it by now. It's not the first time you've hurt your poor mother, from what I understand. If you're talking about last year... I mean, you've done some despicable things trying to worm your way back into her life. Look, I, I will never forgive myself for that. Yeah, but the question is, will Vicky? She already has. What? She told me. But twice? I mean, how many times can you break the poor woman's heart? I don't want to hurt her anymore, so please, don't make me do that. She deserves it. Why? Why do you hate my mother so much? No way Natalie's staying with that guy because she wants to. No, of course not. And that's why we have to get her out of there before something happens. Christian, she must be so frightened. Yeah, no matter what she says. You know, she puts up this big, tough front. She always has, ever since she first came here. Underneath, she's just a frightened little girl looking for her place in the world. Well, she has a place. With you. And me. I am so very grateful to you. Do you know that? Me? Why? 
because you've always believed in Natalie. Even when no one else did. Even when she had Nikki Smith telling her that she was insane and doing terrible things. You never doubted her. You stood by her. Yeah, except thanks to me, she is where she is now. Christian, you can't blame yourself for that. Yeah, then who? Christian, Jennifer was pregnant. You did what you thought was the right thing. Yeah, but it wasn't the right thing for Natalie, was it? And now she's there with that cycle. Laying her life on the line for us. I tell you, if that's what I gotta do to get her out of there, then I will. I pray it works. I will. I've got good backup. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do my best. Besides, there's somebody else whose name we can't mention that wants this to work as much as we do. Well, I, you know, hopefully everything will go as planned. So, so there is a plan. <laughs> Mitch Lawrence was standing in my office, and he had this smug look on his face. I, and I could tell, Natalie is scared to death. Oh, you don't have to give me a reason, Spike. Well, Christian, I know, wanted to kill him. And you know, I wouldn't have blamed him if he did. Because if somebody did something like that to the woman that I love... Would you be very, very careful tonight with whatever you're plotting? Yeah, no. Sir. Nobody's gonna get hurt. I'm gonna make sure. Do you make certain that you're part of the nobody getting hurt? What are you planning tonight, unofficially? I can't tell you. But I can tell you what I'm officially gonna do tonight. Okay. I'm going Christmas shopping with you, after all. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother, whatever gave you that idea? Hmm. Let's see, maybe the whole revenge thing I got going? It's your mother who hates me. Yeah, for good reason. No, it started long before I ever did anything to her. Oh, oh, right. My mom started it. Okay. She's the only woman I've ever met who I could not persuade to believe in the purity of my mission. <laughs> oh, she did everything in her power to work against me. Till I had nothing. So you're telling me that you hate my mother because you couldn't control her? Not much of a man, are you? Write the check, Natalie. Not until you give me a divorce and guarantee that you'll never hurt Christian. Natalie! Turn your back on me like that again. Give me that. What? Give it to me. Me. No, thank you. I'm keeping it. Oh, what? You got to thank my twin sister? What? Isn't that a commandment, don't cover your wife's sister? How dare you even suggest such a thing? Oh, God, don't play all outraged with me. Rex told me about how you were asking all about her. Not for the sick reasons you have in mind. No? Then why are you so interested in her? Just tell me where she is. I don't know. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. How badly do you want out of this marriage? This is a joke. How would you like to spend the rest of your days with Christian happily ever after? What's the catch? Find Jessica for me. Thank you. Oh, Hi. my goodness. Fancy running into you here. Yes, how about that? Actually, do you know, I just bought this for you. It's from our style section to you. Thank you very much. Uh, shall I open it now? Oh, yes, please. Go ahead. Oh, well, it's, it's, it's lovely. Thank you so much. Oh, don't thank me. It was Beau's idea. He thought this would be the perfect gift for you. You could probably even wear it tonight, you know? It's getting pretty chilly out there. Okay. 
looks like I'm all set for the cold weather, aren't I? Thank you very much, Gabrielle. I can't tell you what this means to me. Thank you. There's no need for thanks. Just be careful. Frank, well, I'd better get going. Christian, so nice to run into you. Oh, Gabrielle, good night. You take care. Yeah, I will. Good night. I just forgot that with all that shopping, I didn't get you a present. Well, don't let me stop you. <laughs> mm, I'll be uh, home later. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll meet you there. I'll be waiting. Okay. Will you please be very careful? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, Christian, I'm, you know, I'm glad to see you here. I uh, was wondering if maybe you could help me. I haven't bought a gift for your brother yet, so think you could come along? Sure. All right, good. We want to be out there before the stores close. Don't want to be too late. I am not letting you near my sister. It's a good offer, Natalie. Find her for me and you're free to be with Christian. What's up with you? You've got me. You've got your hands all over the Buchanan money forever. You've got revenge on my mother. Why do you need Jessica, too? I just want to meet her. Right. Just one meeting. That's all. It's just a chance, and you can make that happen for me. I wouldn't even know where to look for her. But your mother does. Why should I trust you? I mean, how do I know if I help you find Jessica that you're going to actually let me go? Well, let's put it this way. It's the only chance you'll ever have of getting out of this marriage. I would take it if I were you. Tell me something. Why is it so important for you to find Jessica? Bo, I'm at the house. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Vicky. You okay? Yeah, so far. <laughs> it's none of your concern why I want to find Jessica. I'm willing to give you your freedom. Do you want it or not? Not if that means you're going to hurt my sister. I assure you, that's the furthest thing from my mind. I don't think so. First, you're willing to drop everything and go out to Boston to try to yes, find her. Yes, sure. And Rex's clever little plan. I fell for that for all of two seconds. And then? You want to let me out of this disgusting marriage for her? I'd take the offer if I were you. I am not finding my sister for a freak like you. All right, just make sure that that microphone's covered up. Can you still hear me? Yeah, loud and clear. I'll be listening and talking you through it. Thanks, Bo. All right, if something goes wrong, don't wait for a signal. Just get out. Okay. If that is your choice, you shall remain my wife till death do us part. Get rid of whoever that is. But what are you doing here? Yes, Vicky, do tell. I'm very curious myself. Can't a mother visit her daughter? That's rather late for a visit, Vicky. My wife and I were about to go up to bed, weren't we? Look, my mom just came all the way over here. I mean, can't she stay a little longer? Whatever pleases you, sweetheart. Commissioner Nat Natalie sounds scared. It's all right, we'll get her out of there, okay? You got your wire, you know what you gotta do. Got it. All right, look, I'm gonna be uh, listening to both you and Vicky at the same time, but I'll be talking to you on two different mics. If I tell you to get out, you get out. I don't want any questions, no heroics, you go. Don't worry. Watch your back. Can I get you something to drink? Or you... Well, I'm sure your mom's not planning to stay that long. All right. But I would like to have a little time alone with my daughter. I'm sure you don't mind. Well, as a matter of fact, I do. Hang in there, Vicky. 
I really just want to apologize to her. Apologize? Yes, for giving you such a hard time at the police station. When you said that you wanted to stay married to Mitch, I, I don't think I was very fair to you. You're not upset? I'm not going to lie, okay? You know my feelings about Mitch, but I did not take your feelings into account. Then you understand. It's, it's very hard for me, I have to admit it. I, I know, Mom, but you know that I'm, I'm not trying to hurt you, right? Oh, God, I know that. I know I have. I'm, I'm sorry. Please, please, you don't have to apologize to I me. Just, I don't want you to be angry with me. Oh, babe, I could never be angry with you. And I'm not. Don't you know that? You're my daughter. I love you no matter what. I love you too, Mom, so much. Well, that was lovely, but it's time for you to go now, Vicki. You can't leave yet, Vicki. You've got to stay there. No. No, I'm not leaving. 